Hi, my name is Jason, and today we'll be making creamy chicken enchiladas. All right, so what's the first thing we need to do? Three chicken breasts. All right, we got our chicken, chicken breasts, breasts already. That was more than three. We did like six. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people eating tonight. And, and a food processor or a small blender measure out cottage cheese and add soup mix. Blend until creamy. Okay, so there's how much cottage cheese are we using today? One and a half cup small curd of cottage cheese. Okay, so that's one cup. Go ahead and, oh, here, let me see. There you go. Oh, yeah. Can I try some cottage cheese? Okay, let's get this last half cup in there. Okay, now dump it along the edge right here like this, okay? Like that. Right there, nice and slow. We don't want it to fall into the middle. Why? Because there's nothing in the middle, so it could go down and gum things up. All right, so what's the next ingredient? Oh, there you go. Bite a cottage cheese. Mm. I'll try one. Okay, here you go. Bite a cottage cheese. Mm. Okay, what's I the next? another bite, please. What's the next ingredient? One package of Herbalist Creamy Chicken Soups. Now remember, along the side. What does it taste like? Well, you've had a little bit of it before. We use it for other recipes. Okay, will you throw that away first, please, Miles? Yes. Give me it and for it. Mmm. Mmm. All right, go ahead and start the food processor up. So we got a nice creamy mixture here now. And what do we do with it? Ta -da! We What's the instruction say next? To in a separate bowl, mix the cottage cheese and mix with shredded chicken, pepper jack and cheese, and chopped green chilies. Mix all together. Okay, so we're throwing our cheese in here. I want to put some cheese in. Can I Kay. try some cheese? I want to eat it. Okay, so go Kay. ahead and add some, no, add about no. half Can the I pepper jack it? cheese. No. And then the other half of the pepper jack cheese we will save to put on top. Oh, pepper jack. The hot cheese. I know, no. Can I try one? No. Really? Maybe I'll take a handful to try by myself. Can I try one? Because I like, I don't, because I don't want to get it on my hand. So what else do we throw into this mixture? And chopped green chilies mix all together. Okay, so throw the chopped green chilies in. So why does it say in the next one, one and... They're enchil it's enchilada sauce! Eat the I don't like that. I want, I want, I like it, but I want to eat the pepper jack. Okay, so then we uh, now we don't dump it. all of it in because we're going to want to save a little bit to put on top. So we only do about half. Mm -hmm. Do you want to dump it in? Yes, tell me when to stop. About half. All done. Okay, now we mix it all together. So go ahead and start mixing. I spilled it. I think I put in too much. Can I try it? No. You don't have any on your fingers. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I got fingers. Mm. Can you ride my... Can you... I want to try some. Now, one package of corn tortillas. Okay, so what do we do with our corn tortillas? Take it into the little spoon and three to four tablespoons of chicken mixture adding and then roll and placing your hand and do this with all your mixture and tortillas <coughs> filling up your pan then pour your 
pinch a lot of sauce over and top with the rest of your, of your shredded cheese that set over set oven to bake at 350 degrees. Bake enchiladas for about eight minutes. Top with the rest of cheese and broil till golden brown. About two minutes. Each enchilada is about 160 calories. Okay, so take our pan here. And we've already warmed up these tortillas. We just warm up enough to where they'll be flexible. Okay, go ahead and spoon in some enchilada or some of our chicken mixture there. You were about to say enchiladas. You want it in a straight line. They look like tacos. Very much. They like tacos. Okay, so now we're gonna spoon it into our enchiladas. So go ahead and spoon it in. Oh, in a straight line. I get it. Yep, it's about three spoonfuls, give or take. And then once you have it in a straight line, you roll your tortilla up. Into, what is on the bottom tortilla? Some soft, green, yellow stock sauce. And then we do, yeah, a little bit of the enchilada sauce, we put it on the bottom so that the enchiladas don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now we take our enchilada sauce. And, pour it on. and then we add the cheese. Pepper Jack. I love the pepper jack cheese. They taste so good. I think I used a little bit too much on the thing. Because we have barely even any. Why is why is it called pepper jack? Actually, Maybe the person what? that thought peppers would be good in cheese was named Jack. No, that's way too obvious. Mm, now can I? I want to add it. I want to add it. I want to add it. Oh. Hold your hand out. Okay, so sprinkle it all across the top. Okay. Okay, now we bake it in the oven for about eight minutes. I got it. Okay, our enchiladas are out of the oven, and now it's ready to eat. eat it. Mmm. It tastes really good. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like mm. pepper jack, pepper jack, tortillas, tortillas, chicken, chicken. Mm. Mostly pepper jack. Lovely, and that's a good combination? Yes. Yes. Comment below what recipes you'd like to see us make. Healthy? Hi. Remember to subscribe here. Remember, kids, be good. Else you're going to get a pile of coal for Christmas. Be good, kids. Be good, boy.